Hi, and welcome to Quick Fix. This quick video will walk you through scheduling a data reload in QuickSense Business. Apps do not automatically reload when a data source is updated, so it is a best practice to set a data reload schedule. This will alleviate the need to manually reload the data every day or every hour, whatever your schedule may be. I have already created my app and my data is pulled in, so now we will proceed with creating a schedule. I'm gonna go here to the three dots or the ellipsis. I'm gonna click on that and then scroll down until I see schedule reload. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle the switch so that it's active. And then we have a few settings here about how the reload should occur. We can have it repeat once, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Each option will give you some settings that you can adjust. So maybe the date or the time or the day of the week even. So look through those when you have a chance so you can figure out how you should set up your schedule. We're gonna go ahead and choose daily. We're gonna leave it set to every day. And then we're gonna choose our time. So we're gonna have it set to run at 9 a.m. I'll go ahead and click the green save button. So now that our app is scheduled, we just wanna make sure that we have the latest file saved to Dropbox by 9 a.m. the following day. And I also wanna mention that we do have peak hours of reloading time. So usually that's between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. your local time. So if it's possible to schedule those reloads outside of that time, it is a best practice to do so. That way you can make sure that your data is updated by the time that you get into the office. If you'd like more information, search for answers using the Unified Search tool on the Click Support portal. It searches across the Support Knowledge Base, Click Community, Click Help Site, and Click YouTube Channels. Take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a Click Product form on the Click Community. And don't forget to subscribe to the Support Updates blog. Thanks for watching. Nailed it!